name is Joanna. Welcome back to Storytime. Today's book is The Box Turtle. It's by Vanessa Roeder. Have you ever seen a turtle that lived in a box? Me either. Let's read this story and find out just what's going on with this turtle in this box. It's got some of the cutest pictures. I really like it. I hope you like it too. The Box Turtle. When the little box turtle hatched, his parents noticed something missing. Oh me, oh my. But they weren't dismayed. They gave him a name and a shell, both of which fit just right. Now remember, Terrence, you are so much more than just a shell. Terrence's shell kept him dry on the soggiest days, safe from the snoopiest strangers and on the scariest nights. It was big enough to share. Terrence loved his shell until one day. Hey, your shell is weird. Suddenly, Terrence's shell seemed too boring, too bizarre, and too big for the little box turtle to bear. So he abandoned it to search for something better. Terrence searched high and low until, wow-wee, his new shell looks sleek. Yeek, but it showed too much cheek. The search continued. He looked classy. He looked sassy. He looked just like Grandma Mildred. Oh, he looked for another shell. Oh yeah, he found it. A perfect polka dotty package. Pop! That was positively petrifying. Terrence tried shell after shell after shell after shell but nothing fit. This whole situation stunk a lot. That's it. I give up. Here you go. Oh, wow. In that moment, the hermit crab showed what it meant to be a friend. The little crustacean was so much more than just a shell. And maybe Terrence was too. Terrence knew what he needed. But when he found his old shell, oh no, it had changed. It's okay, we can fix it. Terrence patched on soggy days. He toiled on chilly nights. The task grew big enough to share. Finally, the shell was finished. It wasn't sleek or sassy. It was far from perfect and definitely weird. But Terrence wasn't dismayed because this little box turtle was so much more than just his shell. The end.